Hello, Paul. Hello again. Yeah, back to nonconformity number three now. Yes, which is um, manufacturing design outputs. Um, yeah. So can you tell us what would be expected here to avoid the nonconformity during third party audits? Yeah, and I think it's just worth setting the context that 8.3 in ITF 16949 covers product design for the organizations that are product design responsible. And that will not affect all ITF certified organizations. Some will not have product design responsibility. But every ITF certified organization has to have processes for new product introduction. So, for example, for designing the manufacturing process to make the product. And the way that that's broken down in 8.3 is we have a series of inputs to manufacturing process design, which primarily will be the output from product design, which could come from the customer or it could come from the organization's own design function. And then we have to have a project to turn the inputs to an output. So the length of a new product introduction process may be very short if it's a very similar product, or it could be two or a three year project. But what we have to do through that project is design a manufacturing process to better make the new product at the right volume. We need to have obviously the, the, the right capacity and also making sure that we make the product to the required quality level to meet the customer expectations. So this requirement, 8.3.5.2, there is a listing in A to N about the outputs of process design. Now, I think a lot of those are fairly straightforward. So for example, we need to have specifications and drawings. We need to have identified special characteristics. So they could be product characteristics identified through the design, or they could be special characteristics related to the manufacturing process. Here lies maybe the first weakness that I think a lot of organizations say, oh, the customer has no special characteristics, therefore there aren't any. And that is not right. Mm -hmm. The organization has to consider the risks because they are the experts in the manufacturing process. And maybe there's no special product characteristics, but there could be special manufacturing process characteristics. So I think that's one common problem, a lack of understanding about the organization's responsibility to look for their own special characteristics. Also in this requirement, we have the output for the manufacturing process flowchart, for the manufacturing process FMEA, and the control plan. And I think too many organizations copy and paste. And they say, oh, the product's very similar to a previous product. And they don't think about, for that new product, whether there are any additional risks that could be introduced within the manufacturing process. So that's a common problem, again, that there's not enough attention paid to the FMEA and the control plan. So if in order to find a problem with the FMEA or the control plan, even if the, pro the, the product is already launched into production, they may come back to this requirement because almost this is the root cause, that it was wrong right from the beginning. It's not production's fault. It is as part of the new product introduction process that this uh, output requirement has not been met. Mm -hmm. So there are a couple of the, a couple of the problems. Um, Standardized work as well. Yeah, one of the outputs uh, of manufacturing process design is making sure that we're giving production all the relevant standardized work or work instructions, visual standards they need to better make the product to the defined specification. And sometimes now, partly because of customer pressure and maybe now because of COVID pressure, the new product introduction timescales are getting shortened. 
So all organizations are taking shortcuts and launching products without having all the required documentation in place. And they're getting found out in audits. You know, you're manufacturing this product. Where's the updated FMEA? Where's the control plan? Where's the standardized work? Um, and, and sometimes they're not there. Yeah, uh, actually, you mentioned the very basic documentation, yes, like control plan flowchart and the FMEA, they're linked actually together. Absolutely. Yes. And what about, for instance, maintenance instructions, which are maybe not that yeah. um, main kind of instructions because they are not creating the value to the customer. Yeah. But again, do the organization consider to have them, for instance, or other Absolutely. quality data, reliability data? Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, I think that that's a definite problem. We introduce new equipment, but we don't understand about that new equipment. We haven't gone back and done the risk analysis about spare parts, about what we need to do to improve the maintainability of that new equipment. So I think that's a, a common weakness. But I think the biggest weakness is shortcuts in not using a cross-functional team that too much of this output data is created by an individual rather than created by a true cross-functional team. And that's back down to management because management need to allocate the resources to better implement this requirement effectively. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, it's also something which, which required emphasizing the list of this 14 points in the ATF, this is not a definite list. This can be expanded, yes, accordingly to the needs of the organization. Yeah. So yeah, and the customer. More. Yeah. They could be customer additional requirements yeah. that they expect as an output of process design. So we also have to understand the customer specific requirements. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, let's keep going with the list of top uh top 10 non-conformities. Uh, the fourth one, which we'll discuss next uh, next time, will be, will you tell? Yeah, control plan, yes. Um, and I'm sure that is no surprise if we asked 100 people what is in the top 10 of major non-conformities, I think probably all 100 would say somewhere in the top 10 will be control plan. So it's there, it's number four. Okay, so hear you soon to discuss the, the fourth one. Thank you. Yeah, no, look forward to it. Yeah, see you soon.